Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for the Vol Classic. This is Thursday, the 29th of April, and um, a nine race program. And as you can see by some of the fields, programming certainly needs to be looked at very closely because uh, you're not getting the type of fields you should be getting. But let's kick off with the first race, and it's uh, off at 5 past 12, the Pentrometer's 22. Uh, five meter false rail at the 600 meter mark, which should give most horses a chance of being able to um, get, overcome the draw, because the draw is a factor, certainly in the 1200 and the 1450s on this track. But we kick off with the first of Maiden Juvenile 1000, and you really got to go on the betting, and uh, the money horses have been um, the two uh, Ashley Fortune runners, uh, Captain Lannister seems to be the right one there with Ryan Munger aboard, that's number five. But there has been a bit of money for Bard of Avon with Kamalo on it and he rides for them too. But the big money's for Mike de Cox runner Motown Magic, the first, the three first timers. Unfortunately, the comments don't give you much indication of what's going on. And um, so you just got to take the betting on trust and have a look at them go down. But uh, it's not the first leg of the pick of the bipod anyway. Race two, Maiden Juvenile plate fillies. They go 1,000 meters. And um, Eastern Bell, the three horses they have run or uh, look like, the, the four horses they have run look like they'll fight it out. There doesn't seem to be money for any of the first timers. Eastern Bell, probably the best. Gavin Lorena rides it for Cornet Speece. He rode it last time. There was money for it. Eternity Rings, a couple of good runs. And Floriana Island, Muzzy sticks with this one rather than Eternity Ring, which he rode last time. And I'm sure he would have had the choice. Promise of Hope, number eight. Very good first run. Marco van Rensburg gets uh, the ride, and that's quite an interesting jockey booking from Paul Peter. Let's go on to race three, Maiden Plate, um, and Phillies and Mares, and they go 1,200 metres. I make an absolute two-corner contest of the horses that have run. That's one, Dancing Arabian. Shows good pace, got good form, and drawn one. That's got to be a big plus. Uh, the danger's got to be Spanish Song. Ignore its last start. I don't know what, the ha what happened there. There seem to be excuses. Ferraris gets a ride this time. And Ryan Munger gets off that to go and ride Lola Palosa uh, for the Ashley Fortune team. And uh, so maybe that's uh, the right horse because it has been backed in and Ryan Munger's uh, jumped on that. So just take a close look at that jockey booking. Race four, graduation, 1600. I think Shah Akbar's a good thing here. Uh, front runner improved. Uh, this is a better type of feel for him, and all he's got to do is go and lob along in front. Well, the danger's got to be Elliot and um, his stable companion Bowie. Uh, I would think Shah Epka, and I'm going to go with him, but Bowie might be a problem, and I've been with him a couple of times, and he's run pretty well. And Elliot uh, definitely got some class about him, but at the weight, I would be with Shah Epka. Race five, progress. Uh, they got 1,200 meters, and um, I'm going with five action packed. Uh, it comes off a rest. Uh, I, th I think this horse might have some real top ability. Uh, he does look like he's 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 got the form to be quite a good horse. That last run was a very very good run, and this might be perfect for him. The two he's got to beat Visway, a good front runner, always there or thereabouts, and Spring Break, very good last run, but. Um, could be an interesting race, but only um, six runners or, yeah, six runners. And the race before that, five runners. Race seven, uh, race six at least, Mary Raid at 84. They've got 1,200 meters. I make it a two-horse race. May Queen, I like the jockey booking at Danielson. He gets a chance. He's quite a good rider, Danielson, if he clicks into gear and starts thinking about it. And I think this will go very well. The danger arises one. I expect this to go very well, course and distance suited, and another one for Jan Janssen van Furen. The other two that come into the race are Emerald Crest, number four, Samanga Kamala for Alec Lego, very good form, outstanding form, and uh, certainly looks like the handicapper might not have caught this yet, uh, but the draw nine is a consideration. And too fat to fly, it always comes from off them, and uh, drawn two might be too far behind a uh, filly like May Queen. Race seven, Mer Merit Red 72, they go 1450, three cornered contest. Um, Roger the Dodger, to me, the top choice. Uh, Corner Speeds, Dion Sampson, uh, two nice runs, his form's come on, and uh, Dion Sampson back with the stable, that's a, always a good sign. 
The Two Dangers, Midnight Gem, no one knows how good um, she is. She won very well first time out and there was money around for her. The next start, not sure what happened, but uh, Zaki sticks with her and gets the ride again, which is quite interesting. And then Stop For Nothing, third run after a race, looks like it's absolutely cherry ripe. Into the future if you're looking for another horse. Race 8, uh, there's a Mary Rain 74, they go 1800 meters. And my top choice here is Validus. I like the blinkers, tongue tie, and the fitting. Um, I think that he's had the tongue tie the last couple of runs and he's run pretty well and a lot to like about him. I think the blinkers certainly will make a difference. So, what are the dangers? Six Earl. Top chances, but drawn 11, he's drawn outside Validus, that's not going to be in his favour. And then the other um, uh, Ashley Fortune runner, Count, Countophonic Legacy, definitely got some sort of chance. He's uh, pretty unexposed, won well first time out and no money for him second time when he drifted and ran accordingly. So what else, Baymax? I've got to go into the mix. Uh, Marco van Rensburg again for Paul Peter. And then my old friend Afrad, I think it's too short for him, although he has one on it, uh, maybe now he's got a bit of confidence he could be worth putting in. So quite tricky. Race nine, maiden plate, uh, and they go 2,000 meters. And here, the only thing against Blackthorn is second run after rest. He's got this field absolutely cold and he should be able to win it. The big danger is Manateria. I think he'll run well, I think he's absolutely ready. Soldier's Song seems held by Blackthorn, but as I said, and he's always slow away, Soldier's Song, that's not in his favour. And then Walsing Al, Gavin Larina writes us um, for uh, Eric Overden. He's always taken note of the jockey booking with Eric Overden. Uh, it gives you a very good indication of whether the horses are right. So, all in all, pretty good uh, card at uh, Vol on the Classic. And from me, James Goodman, remember, go on to the Interbet site and you'll get all the information, including the Vegas games, which is fantastic. You can bet to your heart's content until we start the racing.